Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use a tool to customize the color of your Xcode icon. Why? I don't know, <laughs> for fun, for the hell of it, who cares? I uh, just thought it would be a fun thing to share. So here we are, I have a tool uh, called Xcode of Paint. Uh, it was made by Christian Lobach, as you can see here, iOS developer at Blinkist. Go ahead and give him a follow. All credit to him for creating this tool. Here we are at the GitHub uh, repo. So the instructions, uh, pretty simple. You just kind of download this Xcode project, build and run. Here's what the Mac app looks like. It's a Mac app. Uh, you basically just drag the icon into here, pick your colors, hit replace icon. Uh, if you downloaded the App Store version, there's a little bit of extra stuff you have to do. If you download it from you know, developer.com slash downloads, it'll just do it right away. I have the App Store version, I think, so I'll, I'll show you how to do it kind of like the longer way. But anyway, we're doing this from scratch. I tested this on my laptop, but we're doing this from scratch on the iMac. Uh, we're gonna download the uh, zip of the Xcode project. I've never done open with Xcode. I know that's fairly new. Maybe that will, will work here, but we will uh, open up the download here, run the project. Xcode, yep, trust and open it. I trust you, Christian. I'll go ahead and make this full screen. And okay, cool. So uh, one thing you're probably gonna have to do while it's indexing uh, is in the uh, project here, you're gonna have to, cause you're gonna run it, you're gonna have to change your team and signing capabilities to you know yourself or whatever, whatever team you have there uh, to run it. So as soon as we're done processing here, while we're done processing, let me go ahead and run the project. And here we are, the little mini Mac app here. I'll make it a little bigger uh, for you all to see. Now you just drag Xcode.app here. I made the mistake, like I tried dragging my, <laughs> my doc shortcut, that doesn't work. You actually have to like go to the applications folder, scroll down to Xcode. Oh, let me make some room for the drag and drop here. Take Xcode from your applications folder, drag it into here, there you go. Now you can customize uh, the colors. Now. This is a kind of a fairly new project, so maybe it'll grow in the future. So there's, you're kind of limited. Like I wish you could control the gradient. You know, if I could pick like a top gradient and a bottom gradient, that'd be super cool. Um, but you can't quite do that because I can't quite make the red Xcode uh, icon that I wanted. But again, new project, it's open source. Maybe you can contribute to it. I don't know, maybe more will, will come. But I actually kind of like this, you know, greenish uh, kind of logo we'll go with, greenish, tealish, whatever you want. Now, replace Xcode icon. Again, if you downloaded it from developer.com slash downloads, should happen automatically, but I have the App Store version, so I get this dialogue. As you can see, if you've installed Xcode from the App Store, this app doesn't have enough permissions, yada, yada, yada. Uh, you can change the icon manually via the Get Info dialog. So it gives you the button to open the uh, Get Info. Here it is, uh, right here, kind of small. So now what you do, uh, when you click that button, it said that in the dialog, it automatically um, copied the icon to your clipboard. So if you click on this icon in the upper left of Xcode and then do Command V, there you go. Now you see uh, it changes it to the green Xcode icon that I have. So uh, if I open up Xcode, well, it's still blue here, uh, down here. I'm gonna quit Xcode, move over. Uh, oh yeah, stop that. I'm running Xcode to paint. So let's stop that task. Uh, okay, I still got all these windows open. Now uh, I lost, oh no, my keyboard shortcut or my dock shortcut's still there. I think that went away on my uh, MacBook. But look, look at my finder in my applications folder. Now I got this green Xcode icon. Now let's open up Xcode again. And now down here in the dock, it's still blue. So I think I might have to like remove from dock. Uh, again, I'm, when I did this on my MacBook to test it, uh, options, remove from dock, it, um, it automatically removed it from the dock. So I don't know why it didn't do that there. But now let's open up Xcode again. So now when I go to my dock, yep, there it is. Now it's green. Now if I right click options, uh, keep in dock. There you go. Now I have my green Xcode icon uh, in the dock that you see, come on, stop going away, uh, right down there. Now, maybe fun for a little bit. Maybe you wanna be festive for holiday season or whatever, uh, and you wanna change it back. Well, that's relatively simple uh, as well. So we're gonna open up Xcode of paint again, run the project. I don't think I had to do that. I think I could probably could have just ran the build project I have on my computer. And then same thing, open up Finder and uh, drag Xcode uh, app into there, just like we did before, except now we have this restore default Xcode icon. And again, you have to do the same thing if you have the App Store version, get info, and then up here, you can just hit delete. And then now it's back to uh, the blue. And I think you're gonna have to, you know, quit Xcode. Uh, yep, stop, stop running. And then uh, remove from dock. And again, like I said, my, on my MacBook, this happened automatically, so maybe you don't have to do this, but uh, just in case you run into the issue that I have. And then now back in your applications folder, open up Xcode again. And now that it's open, right click options, keep in dock. And then I like it like over here somewhere. So cool, that is how you can just have a festive, fun way to change your Xcode icon. Again, no real reason to do it other than to customize your uh, screen. You know, maybe you got one of those new Macs that's all colorful and you wanna kind of match your aesthetic. 
there you go. Thought it would be fun. See you in the next video.